What's good, Wealth Builders? It's the man, it's the myth, the Wealth Builder himself, the Von Putin Work Burke. And today, we're talking about the pros and cons of investing in dividend stocks. So let's go. Okay, real quick. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we talk about making more money, saving more money, and building a better you and business. So without further ado, let's get to the topic on hand, the pros and cons of investing in dividend stocks. Now, number one, the pro, passive income. When you buy dividend stocks, you are actually setting yourself up for extremely passive income. You will get a payment every three months, usually just for buying and holding the stock. Number two, compound interest. Dividend paying stocks have a great way to building income in two different ways. You get a payout from holding a dividend paying stock. And if you reinvest your payout, you create a bigger paying stock as time goes on. It just compounds. Three, dividends can be diversified with ETFs and mutual funds. The awesome thing about dividend stocks is that you can get paid regularly without having to buy individual stocks, okay? So these risk factors get mitigated by not owning just one stocks when you purchase dividend-paying ETF stocks. Number four, tax advantages of div dividend-paying stocks. Dividends paid by companies can either be classified as income or capital gains. According to the IRS, whereas ordinary dividends are taxable as ordinary income. Qualified dividends that meet certain requirements are taxed at lower capital gain rates. The difference between the two rates can be a lot, and if your regular income puts you in the top U.S. tax bracket, bracket you pay 37%, more than a third to Uncle Sam. On the other hand, if you own companies that pay qualified dividends, your top tax rate on that money is only 20%, right? Especially if you are reinvesting that money into buying more stock. The difference in return returns over 10 years can be enormous. You can do research to see what companies pay qualified dividends and which don't. The rules according to the IRS are the dividend, must have been paid by a U.S. company or a qualifying foreign company. The dividends are not listed with the IRS as those that do not qualify. The required dividend holding period has been met. As with most stock investing, the easy way to guarantee your dividend stocks pay qualified dividends is to buy them in bulk in an ETF or mutual fund. Okay, even if you don't own companies that pay qualified dividends, if you own those companies in a Roth IRA or Roth 401k, the dividends income grows tax-free. And if you are thinking about a Roth conversion for your traditional IRA or 401k, that might be a good idea. Right, number five, inflation actually helps div dividend stocks. I know it sounds crazy, but when inflation hits, it actually makes the dividend stock perform better because most of the industries that are dividend paying stocks make more money during inflation. Okay. Now the cons of dividend paying stocks. Number one, dividends can stop at any time. A company can slash dividends or all out stop paying dividends without notice. They, they usually will write a letter to the stockholders to inform them of the slash or stop payment of dividends. This can really affect your income. Okay. Two, individual stocks are risky. Most people think that dividend stocks are not risky because they've been around for so long. But in reality, they're just as risky as non-dividend paying stock. And number three, you have to invest a lot to make real money. Dividend stocks only pay small amounts every three months. So to get a substantial amount of money back, you got to put up a lot of money. It won't have to be all at once, but you can do it over time. So there you have it. Those are the pros and cons of dividend paying stocks. The pros outweigh the cons and can really make some passive income if you're consistent, in my opinion. All right, so thanks for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. It's the man. It's the myth. The wealth builder himself. The Von Put in Work Burke. And I'm signing off for 
the pros and cons of investing in dividend stocks. Do remember what brothers make more, save more, build more. It's the Wealth Builders, baby.